lot of these public occurrences. The latest hairstyles from the upper stand. Win the game. Want to do something fun? Run the bases. Trust me. Protection for sale. Hand tooled pieces. Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but... You deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. A lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Who were the Gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. Scotted prototype, anyway. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across her face. <laughs> Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? The man who... killed my wife. 
He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it. But that sound... Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. It's Sean. It has to be. Somehow. Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? That's over nine years difference by my count. Look, maybe he has a son of his own. Maybe it's someone else's kid. Either way, they both vanished a while back. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two? Should still be careful. I always am. dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. One heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Don't have any bobby pins. No luck? Guess we'll need to find the key. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. The mayor's office is near the entrance of the city. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. 
I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. Oh, of course. I, I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible personal tragedy. I remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talked to anyone. I doubt you'll find him. But I insist you take the key to his old house. It's been abandoned, though. I'm afraid this whole thing might be fruitless. Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Gwinnett Stout Beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. A lot of people out here can use a hand. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean.
San Francisco Sunlights. I'm telling you. Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Kellogg's still out there. We've got to track him, boy. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. We gotta stick together, pal. At least until we find Kellogg. Okay, boy. Let's track him. the scent boy. Gwyneth Stout, one of his creature comforts. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on?
Attention, assailant. No worries. Your weapon is immediately. No fighting happened here. <laughs> Tracking no Exercise extreme caution. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. your nose to track Kella. Just tell me where Kellogg went, Tin Can. Identity of assailant, Kellogg. We're still on track. Hopefully he's not much further. this our man? Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. 